Hello and welcome back guys to a net to another eh, sorry, to another episode or part of Monster and Gormit in front of the Bumblebees. Shall we continue on the next game? Yeah, I think we should. Let's have a quick recap. Wallace needs three miracle ingredients to grow his flowers on the quick and get to near his honey. Grotein, energized and strong him. Wallace has obtained his protein and Crumb has gone off to fight the invaders. The sniffer is sprung and Wallace has his energized battery. That's what we did last lesson. And lesson, sorry, I keep saying lesson, don't I? <laughs> That's what we did uh, last part. And uh, we got the battery from the sniffer 3000 and we got him out of jail and blah blah blah. Let's load this game. I don't want to make these intros too long. Just want to get into the game. I want to show you how to get the next part, which is this strong game. And as you can see, we're back here uh, at the police station where we freed the sniffer of 3000. Let's get home quick, shall we? If we remember how to do this, let's get the map and teleport back home. Because we need the tea bag, which has strong game. It's our last tea bag in the cupboard. Um, so let's get it. So, tea bags are often found in the. Uh, kitchen and here's the cupboard. Let's get it, yay! A nice cup of strongium tea ought to spark up the old grey matter. Hey, bring that back, you thieving rascal! Hold on a minute, strongium. That's one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. I need that tea bag. We do need that tea bag. That's right. Uh, some toast here. Oh yes, that's right. We need to take that. Oh, toast. Shame to let it go to waste. That's right. We need that toast. Uh, let's go out to the garden, shall we? There's a quick way to get to the garden through here. Back door. If it'll load. There we go, I was scared then for a second. <laughs> I apologise for my voice being uh, not really changing the tone, I'm a bit tired, I've just woken up. You understand guys, uh, but I've decided to do this anyway, so let's go through this gate here, we can peer down here. Awfully long drop. Yeah, basically that just leads to the um, basement, but there's no steps or anything, it's just open. It's like a little skylight for the basement anyway, let's go through, uh, keep sidetracking. We don't want to sidetrack. You can if you want, but... For the sake of this video, I'm not going to sidetrack. And there he is, there's Nutters. Nutters is the squirrel who's taking the tea bag and let's confront him. Oi, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You're persistent in your attentions this morning, Mr. Wallace. Right, so what we do to get him down is we need to lure him down and we need to put. Well, we need to get our toast, because if you remember, in the first part when we were Gromit, uh, he kept taking the toast, didn't he? So we know he likes toast, so let's get this. And let's give it with Nutter. Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Drops the tea bag, and will we get it? Nope, because Wallace is a butterfingers. For exactly. Back again, Mr. Wallace? I'm well, flattered. Well, this is a little awkward. Um, shall we talk to her? See if uh, we can get it off her. Uh, I wonder, Miss Split, if you would be so kind as to uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace? What tea bag? The one on your, um... Uh, Are you feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace? Ooh, like I said, a bit awkward. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to blur her over now and get her to kind of get, get it dropping off so we can grab it. If we make a comment on this, maybe she'll come over, I don't know. Perhaps you'd like to give the purple pansies a sniff. You'd have to, uh, lean over, of course, but... I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies. I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me. 
Well, that's what we need to do. We need to get some purple pansies and put them in her garden, basically. Make it look like they're, um, they sprouted or whatever the correct term, <laughs> whatever the correct term is, so she can, um, lean over and sniff. So we're going to have to go to town for this. Let's get our map and go to town. Alright, we're back here quickly. And as you can see, up on this have you window... Have it, Mr. Vellos? No, I have not bought it yet, Mr. Pinier. Stop it annoying me. <laughs> anyway, uh, up there on the window ledge, there are two flowers, some yellow and purple. And well, we're going to have to talk to this person here, Mrs... I can't remember her name, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. I'm going to have to click on her and, you know, remind me, remind myself. Hey, old Wallace, love. How's business? So, Wall, 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 in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. This'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. I apologize for that little uh, thing. I have no idea what happened there. There's a button. It says push. Should we do that? Let's see what happens. Uh oh. Hey, it's not closing time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we've made a run. We rocked the daisy. Alright, I think what we're gonna have to do first is look at this. Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies, always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Uh, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lamb and you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, now look what you've done, you clumsy old. And open up that window when I'm yelling at you. All right. <laughs> well, only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all! Is that so? You know what, any flowers help really, so shall we ask if we can take these? Let's do that. I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. Now, shall we try these with the bees? Let's let's give it a go. Let's um let's go home and give this a go. So we're gonna have to go down to the basement. Let's do this quickly. So I have a feeling it won't do. Alright, let's put these in the machine then. What are they called? Gold, golden rods. Okay, gold, golden rods? It's like one word, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, let's put this into the pollinator. Uh, bon appetit. Oh! Hmm, not exactly a flood, is it? No, I guess that didn't work. Shall we go back to town? Alright, let's talk to Mrs. Gabley. I think we are going to need those purple pansies to get the tea bag ah, to make the formula nice. to, you know, feed the bees and make a lot of honey. Yay, Mr. Pinier! Hey, hey up, Wallace, love. How's business? Oh, not going too great. We need them, please. Shall we talk to her again? Let's, let's do that. Pardon me, Mrs. Gabley. I wonder... That is, could you spare a verb? Uh, sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, uh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb. Now to 
give Wallace an idea, we're going to have to click on one of these magazines or suites or something or newspapers um, that has a verb on it. Uh, for the first two things, she asks us to um, to tell her. It doesn't really matter what you pick, but the last two are essential to get the verbal pansies. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So the verb, let's just let's pick something. Um, hmm. Chew. Let's say chew. Chew is an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. Something I can touch? Hmm, a toad. <laughs> Let's do that. Toad? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Right, this is essential. What we need is mild. Okay, only because... I'll try and do this without spoiling it, but what she's going to do is go and tell her husband, Mr. Gabbly, this thing that, what what we're helping him to say, but mild gentleman is not what he likes to be called, basically, um, and he's not used to that, so he'll get frustrated, drop the purple pansies and we'll get them, so mild is what we need to select now. Uh. Mild? No! Oh, oh that's a corker, that's it! <laughs> Last one, nearly done. I need another thing. Or, like a person or animal. A person or animal? Hmm, now, let me see now. And now what we need is gentlemen to finish it off. Ready? Let's do it. Gentlemen? Yes, that's a thing. Do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Got him that time. Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad. There we go. Shall we ask her if we can take these now? Let's do it. Would you mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to? Lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes. Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Hey, let's go back home now, shall we? Hey, let's do it. Now, what we don't want to do is put these in the pollinator. Do not do that. That's not a good idea. But we need to. Uh, we need to go home all the same. Come on, if it'll let me click it. There we go. We need to go out to the front garden, so let's open up this door. Hey, the game's saved. Yay! And what we're going to have to do is walk over here. And put these purple pansies with the purple pansies. Let's do it. Miss Flint? If you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Mappo. You see, they're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction, Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. Yes, look at that. We've got the tea bag. That's great. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you how to mix the ingredients and make the flowers and feed the bees. Let's do it. This is like a little extra thing I'm going to add on this episode as well. Part, oh, sorry. <laughs> a little thing I'm going to add on to this part. So, first of all, we need to go to the kitchen. Make this brew. And we go to this mixer here, and what we do is we put it one by one in 
Let's see, so shall we put the uh, strong... Uh, what, what do we need? What order? Let's get the flyer out. I'd better double check the recipe. Yes, that's the lot. Grotein, Energides and Strongium. Everything I need to whip up a tip-top growth formula. Hey, hey! Okay, so here we go. That's it. What we need is the Grotein first. Put that in here. One Grotein. generous chunk of Grotein to give it texture. Some Energides now, the battery. One unit of Energide fluid for a creamy finish. And then the strongium tea bag. One dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. No, the mixomatics all mixed up. Stop! Stop! Help! Oh, thanks, lad. Checking to see if anything's sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Really? I don't see what you're hoping to... Oh, I don't believe it. It works. It works. The whole made quick grow miracle muscle formula works. We're in business now. You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out. You know, uh, Lincoln, Nora. Oh, my word. I think I'm going to faint. <laughs> well, look at that. We've got our flowers. Let's pick them up, shall we? Let's get all of these giant flowers into our pocket because it's just that easy. This Let's do it. This ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. And look, they're in our pocket. <laughs> oh well, it's only a cartoonish thing. It's only a game. Let's um, <laughs> let's go down to the basement, feed them to the bees, and then we should have our honey. Let's do it. This is the last stage of this part. Ready? Go. Go. I said. There we go. <laughs> Champion, that is. 50 gallons of honey and just in time for my annual tea and crumpet festival. Pleasure doing business with you, Wallace. Always aim to please, our bees. That's the last of our build, Gromit. And we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. This year, I fancy... Black... Oh, oh, yes, lad. I think our money troubles are over at last. Air raid! Air raid! Battle oh, stations everywhere! Not again. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to commandeer your dining room. Now, just a minute, Major Crow. No time to argue, old man. The whole town's under bombardment. But here they come! There's an egg from it. Giant bees. Heaven help the good citizens of West Wallaby Street. Civilians out! But that's an order, Wallace. Private Gromit, kindly escort this civilian from the battle zone. Ha ha ha! So, if you thought that was the end, you're wrong. You're mistaken. That is not the end. The bees have turned giant. Something in the quick growth muscle formula has gone wrong. And when the 
bees ate the flowers, they turned giant as well. Now they're invading the town and we must get rid of them. So, join us in the next part to learn how to do that, step by step. Well, like, favourite and subscribe if you enjoyed this part, if you enjoy this series, you know, tell your friends about it. It'll, I'll be really grateful for that and come back soon for the next part. And if it's already out, go and watch that because I'll do my best to make it as helpful as possible. Bye!